Okay. Um, the media may be liable under uh, laws that were enacted back in the 1950s. Um, under President Harry Truman, laws were passed against communism and against people organizing in communist ways to undermine our government. <clears throat> such as what the media is doing right now with uh, President-elect Donald Trump. They're undermining the, a, consti a constitutional process, a democratic process set up under our Constitution and this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a law that um, that I was referring to actually was this law and several other laws that is against what the media is doing right now. McCarran Internal Security Act of 1950 is just one of those laws and <clears throat> excuse me, this is what I got posted on Facebook about it. This law is a liberal law. It was set up under a liberal government. Under this law, the liberal media could be held liable for espionage against the government cause, because of their promotion of copycat like actions against a, a president elect. Um, uh, this is from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, talking about the um, talking about the Security Act law. <clears throat> These laws were set up against anything coming in like communism and these laws when they were put in place were uh, basically to protect us from um, such things as um, unions um, trying to weasel into the government and set up their own kind of communistic government. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, and, and even if it's not unions, there's, it, you know, anybody else, like the medias, they get together and try to do uh, copycat actions against any particular form of presidency, especially if it's trying to stop a democratic process of electing the president. Now they've gotten mad because uh, for the past 50 years they've tried to pick our president. And when they can't pick him, then they then now they're trying to get him thrown out. They're trying to pressure the uh, uh, electoral votes to try to get them to change their mind about whom they have uh, picked because and if the the people of the state say we want this then they have to say my vote goes for this according to what our laws have established okay and they're saying no they don't have to no they don't have to but for the past 200 plus years now they have now all of a sudden you know the media is trying to get the, them to pressure and change their mind so under that, so um, in that, according to this law set up in the 1950s, they are without a doubt guilty of trying to disrupt our democratic process of electing our president. And they could be prosecuted. I got Tom Brokaw on here saying, get me a bail bondsman. <laughs> well, he may need one. Not just him. It's not just him, but... There's about 300 other, other liberal anchor men and people behind them that could be going to jail because of this, okay? And of course, I'll try to have some kind of link on here going to Wikipedia so that you can actually take a look at this law if you want it. Some of you people who study law and know the law, um, you're going to be really interested in this, okay? Uh, and this is what it says, okay? I'll try to read a little bit more of this, even though I'm not really 
that inclined to uh, laws and principles of law and um, the reading of such um, uh, an act and how it's supposed to be you know of these and thous and the buts and all that kind of stuff uh, <clears throat> I know that's the Bible <laughs> see what I'm talking about okay the act required communist organizations to register this particular act okay with the United States Attorney General and uh, and establish subsurvised activities uh, control board to investigate persons suspected of engaging in sus, sus, sup, uh, suspicious sub, subver, subversive act, activities or otherwise promoting the establishment of a totalitarian government. Now, it's, it, now this is not saying that they have to be acquire, um, uh, associated with the communist government in particular or in it with a communist organization it's just saying that they have to register as that if they're going to go under uh, to um, to try to uh, promote a totalitarian dictatorship and this is exactly what the liberal media is doing they're trying to promote a totalitarian dictatorship through George Soros, through Barack Obama. I mean, look at all that Obama has done in the past eight years. The only thing he has accomplished was he, he got passed in our system of laws a disastrous, a disastrous uh, bill called the Obamacare Act. And it, it it's done nothing but devastate our um, uh, welfare system as far as helping out the the sick and and as uh, uh for as, as far as helping out our insurance with our doctors and all of that it's you know it's it's been disastrous and and when he couldn't get anything else done after that huge disaster he started excuse me just signing his pen executive privilege Pen, executive order, executive order, three, four hundred of them. I don't know how many he's got in there. Could be thousands, as far as I know, because they don't. He don't say anything to the public. He just signs it and lets it go. Who, who in the world knows? He might be supporting the the Muslim uh, terrorist ISIS for all we know. <clears throat> you know, because he doesn't. He's when he got elected, he says, "I'll be the most visible administration there has ever been." What? You gotta be kidding me! Visible? Well, maybe he meant invisible. He left off those two little letters on the front of it, you know, invisible. But this is definitely an illegal thing that the media are doing. Copycat actions, trying to get the government uh, to overthrow Donald Trump, and and uh, which would disrupt a democratic process which we, you can see right here that we have laws against enacted in the 1950s now let me, let me show you this a Bible verse okay here's where we are in time 2 Timothy chapter 3 in this know also that in the last days that's verse 1 Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, blasphemers. Now, now tell me this, if this is not expressing the Democratic Party, they're kicking their feet, they're squalling. You know what, and you ask them, people who are protesting about policy, why are you protesting? What Exactly what part of this policy are you protesting? Absolutely none of them know. They're they're brain dead. They don't they don't know what. Some of them don't even know who Donald Trump is. Uh, we're just out here protesting because uh, we think we were shafted. Were we? Who were we shafted by? Uh, I don't know, but we were shafted. And 
That's that man over there. He paid us to come out here and protest. He said we were shafted, so we're out here protesting. <laughs> now, that's the kind of answers that you get from those people. It's like, man, they got no sense of what's going on, you know? And that's that's the kind of people that is leading this country down the path to being uh, uh, ruined, you know? If somebody tells them that they were misled, okay, these people won't lie to me. That's, that's the news media. They're telling me that we've been lied to, we've been shafted, so we're going to believe them. You know, we're not going to go out and look and see if we actually were. We're just going to believe them. Anyway, listen to this. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful, unholy. You know, that reminds me of that black lady on TV. Her son was out there protesting. She runs up there and she grabs him like this. And she's a beating the daylights out of him. Man, I wanted to give her money. You know what I'm saying? You are not going to be out here acting stupid like this. You're going to come home. You're going to get an education. Man, we need a lot more mothers like that. We need a lot more mothers like that. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, uh, incontented, uh, fierce, displeasers of those that are good, uh, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And it goes on and on and on to express exactly the day that we're living in right now. This is why this cloud of confusion that has crossed this land is why we're in such an uproar. See, when ignorance comes in, communistic values and ways take over. That's how uh, cults such as uh, ISIS and people like that are allowed to rule because of ignorance. They don't know. They just don't know. Alright, God bless you. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time right here. Another great message crossing the middle ministry.